In this video, we're going to look at some more examples of finding either the mean or standard deviation. We're given the random variable x follows a normal distribution mean mu variance sigma squared. Given the probability that x is less than 17 is equal to 0 0.8159 and the probability that x is less than 25 is equal to 0 0.9970, find the value of mu and find the value of sigma. All we need to do here is a simultaneous equation. So let's convert this to the standard normal. What we'll do here is make a substitution. We know from our previous work that the substitution we can use is z will be equal to x minus mu divided by sigma, or if you like, x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So let's consider the first case. We can now write that this is going to be the probability that z will be less than 17 minus mu over sigma. So I can write in now 17 minus mu divided by sigma. And that value now is given to be 0 0.8159. So 0 0.8159. If we consider the next case here, what we're going to have is the probability that z is going to be now less than 25 minus mu divided by sigma is going to be equal to 0 0.9970. All we need to do is go to our standard normal tables to find the corresponding value for this and then simply set up a simultaneous equation. If you want to draw sketches, you can do. For me, this is purely plugging in numbers and finding values. So let's now go and find 8159. So 8159 in our table is going to be somewhere down here. So 8159, that gives me 0 0.9. So what I can now write then is the following. I can write 0 0.9 will be equal to 17 minus mu divided by sigma. And I'm going to call this equation 1. So here's equation 1. This one here, all I'm going to do is go to the table and find 0 0.9. 970. So we want 9970, which is going to be somewhere around here. Let's find that. Where are we? Just here. 2.75. So what I'm now going to write is the following. I'm going to write 2.75, and that is going to be equal to 25 minus mu divided by sigma. Okay, so we now have simultaneous equations involving sigma and mu. For this particular type, the way I like to think about it now, if I multiply both sides by sigma and subtract away, the mu's are going to drop out. So rewriting equation 1, what I'm going to say now, equation 1, we're going to have 17 minus mu will be equal to 0 0.9 sigma. Equation 2, rewriting, I'm going to now write 25 minus mu will be equal to 2 0.75 sigma. So if we subtract these away, and it really doesn't matter which way around you do it, it's entirely up to you. If you want to rewrite equation one below, and so you don't end up with negatives, you're more than welcome to do so. It's entirely up to you, however, however confident you are with simultaneous equations. What I'm going to do here, I've just rewritten one below too. I'm just going to subtract downwards. That will eliminate mu. So if I uh, subtract downwards, what I'm going to end up with then is eight, these are going to cancel out, and then I'm going to be left now with 1.85 lots of sigma. So all I've done is subtracted away 0 0.9. So we can say now that 8 divided by 1.85 will be equal to sigma. So let's wipe that for a calculator. So 8 divided by 1.85, and that's now going to give me, what's that going to give me? 4.32, and that's going to be correct to three significant figures. So 4.32, and that's, you might want to make a note, that's to three significant figures. All I need to do now is find the value of mu. So in this one, or you take your pick. If you want to express this now, you could rewrite this as 17 minus 0 0.9 lots of this. And this, I'm going to put this in, whatever's stored in my calculator, 4.32 dot, 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 will be equal to mu. 
So all I'm doing is subbing this into either one of the other equations to find the value of mu. So in my calculator, what I'm going to do is 17 minus 0 0.9 multiplied by the answer. This will now give me mu. So mu is going to be equal to 13.1, and that's going to be correct to three significant figures. You might again want to put your calculator display and then round it. So mu will be equal to 13.1, correct to three significant figures. So all we've done is a little simultaneous equation. As stated, I really think this is just number plugging. I don't really see a great need in this particular case to use the graphs. OK, let's have another go at one. The random variable y follows a normal distribution mean mu variance sigma squared. Given the probability of y being less than 25 is equal to 0 0.1 and the probability of y being greater than 35 is equal to 0 0.005, find the value of mu and find the value of sigma. Or find the value of mu and the value of sigma. OK, so let's set this up then. What I'm going to state on the first one, and this is going to be equation one, we're going to have the probability of z being less than, and I'm going to take my 25, we're going to have 25 minus mu divided by sigma will be equal to 0 0.10. Now, if we just think about what we're going to have here, we're going to have some value, some small value here. What I need to do is look this value up in my percentage points table, okay, and then take the negative. Just consider if we had now this point right here. This is going to give us an area. Let's just put this here. And we'll want it, it will be a bit smaller than that in, in reality. But essentially what we're saying now is this area right now is going to be 0 0.1. Our percentage points table gives us now the probability that uh, we have now of a probability trapped under here is to the right. So this is what we're going to get. If we look in the table, we're going to have 0 0.1. So whatever that value is in my table, I'm just going to make negative and sub it in here. So let's find that then. So let's go to the table. So where's 0 0.1? It's just here. So if I now just make this negative, that's going to give me the value that I'm after. So negative 1.2816. So negative 1.2816. So we can now state that 25 minus mu divided by sigma will be equal to that value. And I'm going to call this equation 1. And we'll just leave that alone for a second. Let's now deal with this one. The probability that y is greater than 35 is equal to 0 0.005. So all we're going to do is look at that in the table. So I can now say the probability that z is greater than, and we will have 35 minus mu divided by sigma will be equal to 0 0.005. So looking at this value, and this will give me the one I want. So if we go straight to our percentage points table, that area right there is going to be this little sliver now, 2, and it will be smaller than that in reality, um, but it's not going to help with my colouring. Um, that's going to be that point just there. So if we look this up, this 0 0.005, we will get a value for that. We will take the positive one and simply sub it in. So let's do that then. So let's find that. Uh, 0 0.005. So here we are, 2.5758. So let's put that in. So we want now 2.5758. So we can say that that's now going to be equal to 35 minus mu over sigma. So again, we'll just call this equation 2, and we've got simultaneous equations. The way in which you solve simultaneous equations is entirely up to you. So the way I'd like to think about it now is multiplying both sides by sigma in equation 1, what we're going to end up with now. In fact, I'm going to write equation 2 first. OK, let's write equation 2. Let's write equation 2 first. We're going to have 35 minus mu will be equal to 2.5758 sigma. Equation 1, we're going to end up now with 25 minus mu will be equal to negative 1.2816 and then sigma. So subtracting downwards, all I need to do is subtract these. So essentially this is going to give me 10 and then we're going to end up with whatever this value is. So let's just, I'm not going to try and get my head around doing that. 
let's just rewrite that. Let's go back. 2.5758. And it's going to be minus minus this value, which means we need to plus it. So we can have 1.28 and then 1.6. Okay. So what we can now say then is subtracting downwards, 10 will be equal to the calculator value, which is going to be 3.8. What's it? 8574? 8574? 8574 sigma. So all we need to do is divide both sides by this value and that will give me sigma. So let's do that then. Let's do uh, 10 divided by that and that will give me now 2.59 so on and so forth. So correct to three significant figures, 2.59 is going to be equal to sigma. Done. So all we need to do now is sub that back into any of these ones. So take your pick. Um, I'm going to use this top one. Let's just do that. It really doesn't matter. What we're trying to find now is going to be uh, mu. So if I add that to both sides and then subtract 2.578 lots of my answer here, we're going to get that. So we can say 35 minus and then whatever's in my uh, calculator, 2.59999 multiplied by 2.5758. This will now give us the value of mu. So again, just simultaneous equation, you decide how you want to solve that. So let's just wipe that through. So 35 minus now my answer, which we've got stored in the calculator, multiplied by 2.5758. And that's going to give us now mu. So mu is going to be 28.3, correct to three significant figures. So 28.3 is equal to mu, or mu is equal to 20. Uh, 28.3, and that is correct. Two, three significant figures. So there we go. Basic work with simultaneous equations. You decide how you want to solve simultaneous equations, but essentially you should come with these answers at the end, correct to three significant figures.